what is going on guys and welcome back to the next iteration in this davinci resolve tutorial today we're going to be finally getting into something called side chain okay now you're probably wondering well what is side chain well side chain pretty much is when your audio lowers itself based on the volume of another track so let's say for example you have somebody talking and you have music in the background playing well, when that person talks, you don't want this music to be competing with the person talking. You kind of want that to drop and let them talk. And then when they get quiet, the, the volume automatically raises. Now, you can automate that. You can also do that by cutting and things like that. But it's just not as efficient and it just takes too much time. And if you're making YouTube videos or anything where you talk and you need to lower volume of music, this is going to save you a ton of time. And this is something I wish I had known a very, very long time ago. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the software. So here we are. We have a video clip here that I already uh, slapped into my timeline here. And I also have uh, his audio normalized and I already have music here. Now, you'll notice that when I play this, watch over here on the right hand side. Notice the peak points, okay? Notice that they're both at like a same level and they're kind of competing for attention, which is not what we want, right? So let's just play. These things because we had location issues, people are calling around trying to get last minute locations and it's just not working out. And if we can't get the right location. So you see how both of these are peaking around the negative five to zero. That's not what you want. You want the voice to be priority and you want your volume to be less than the voice. But you also don't want to have to raise the volume back and forth and automate and do all this stuff manually. Right. So how do we, you know, fix that? Well, we do something called side chaining or also known as audio ducking. OK, so let's go ahead and do that. So if you're in uh davinci resolve right here what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to the actual actually we're gonna go to fairlight and we're gonna jump over here i was about to take us into fusion there <laughs> and uh not quite yet almost there almost there and then we're gonna go over to um make this to a size that you like and again uh you know suit you know you guys do whatever suits you guys here so this is audio one this is the talking let's actually mute the music so you can kind of see that this is audio one right these things because we had location issues people are calling around trying to get last minute locations and all right so you guys can see that's clearly the uh vocal channel and then down here is the music once so let's mute this all right so there we have it so now that you have identified those now what you're going to want to do is go over to your audio 2 right here, uh, click it or come over here to audio 2 in the side. And then what you're going to want to do is go into this little see this box here where it says dynamics. OK, you want to double click in here. Now, if you're at 18, you have to do one extra step to do this in 18. You will actually have to go to the A1 and there's a button that says send. And then, so make sure you hit that button over here at the bottom right corner. It'll say something like send. Make sure that that thing is on send. And then over on the music track, make sure that listening is on, sidechain is on, and compressor is all on. Okay, for those of you that are in DaVinci Resolve 18. But I'm going to show you guys pretty much, you know, you, how you can accomplish the same thing. But you're going to want to go over to where it says compressor right here. Go ahead and enable this inside chain will be on okay you want to turn this on to listen and then you'll pick a source so it's listening right now to audio one okay you want to turn on your compressor and then you want to turn side chain on and then you want to say listen to audio one so now it's going to side chain or dodge audio one which is our talking channel right you can even say uh talking right you can make this really really easy then come over to here again now you can see where it says compressor side chain on listen to the talking channel and then i have a preset that i have in here called vocal ducking where it looks kind of like this and it will basically turn your threshold to about I think I put it somewhere in between 26 and 28 is where I usually like to have mine. Uh, let me double check that actually. Let me go ahead and click on something else and then go over to vocal ducking. Yeah, it looks like I had it at 27, okay? So threshold should be around 27. And of course, you can make this higher and lower based on, you know, whatever you would like to do, okay? 
And then your ratio, um, before I explain any of this stuff, I want to actually let you guys hear a difference. So let's first listen to this for audio for a second. So I just move my, let's move this window over to here and let's go ahead and hit play for a second. Oh, well, it's muted, of course. All right, let's run that back. These things because we had location issues. People. All right, so you can see that really, you don't really hear much of a difference, right? But notice what happens if I bring this threshold down to like way down over here. Okay, now let's play it. These things because we had location issues. People are calling around trying to get last minute locations and it's just not working out. And if we can't get the right location, uh, then... So you guys can really see a difference now in the audio, right? It dropped significantly. Now, if I play this again, and we're going to do ratio. These things because we had location issues. People are calling around trying to get last minute location. So you see how we can get an even lower volume by using the ratio? These things because we had location issues. People are calling around trying to get last minute locations and it's just not working out. And if we can't get the right location, uh, then we... All right, so you guys can see how that really, really made a difference. Now, I'm going to show you guys that this is truly working because I'm going to take this audio clip and we're going to drag it beyond the vocal portion, okay? So we're going to drag it beyond the vocal portion. We actually bring the vocal portion down to here and watch how the volume now is going to raise after it reaches the end point of this vocal because it says, hey, there's no talking. So since there's no talking, it's going to raise the volume back up, okay? Now check this out these things because we had location issues all right you see how the volume went back up so that right there is pretty much side chaining that is vocal audio ducking in a nutshell all right now there's something else i want to show you guys with this this really makes this really smooth because you notice that that was kind of like extreme and went and you can hear it kind of come in well you can make that really really smooth by going over to your release over here and making that even longer shorter so on and so forth so if you take your release and make it shorter watch what happens notice how fast it kicks in in terms of volume these things because we had location issues so you see as soon as the audio stopped it just jumped up in volume i don't usually like that i like to have my release kind of like really slow right here okay instead of having this way down in here or excuse me way over here I like to have this way up here so it's a lot smoother. So now notice how smooth, almost like an airplane, it gets vo very slowly in volume, right? Okay, so now check this out. These things because we had location issues. Right? Much, much, much smoother. And that is pretty much it. In fact, you can actually save these settings like this and then change, you know, or pretty much hit this little plus button right here and you can save it and create a new and name it whatever you want i call mine vocal ducking okay okay so um i think that is pretty much it um side chaining is incredibly useful i use it all the time in wedding videos and videos where there's a lot of talking head documentaries filmmaking all kind of different things now you can automate and do all that stuff but that is definitely that in a nutshell and i think you guys will find it to be very very useful so without further ado i'm going to go ahead and end the video right here i hope that you guys found that to be somewhat useful and uh, we will see you guys in the next video